<laughs> All right, so in this problem, we have our roller coaster, right? Roller coaster starting at the top, it's going to start at rest, coming down, and we're just going to solve for a few things. So first thing is, uh, what's the velocity of point B, point C? So what are we going to use to figure this out? MEG. Take conservation of energy, right. So we'll just use some simple conservation of energy. We'll say at the top, what kind of energy do we have? Potential. All potential. At the bottom, what kind do we have? Kinetic. All kinetic. Okay, so we're just going to go MGH, one half MB squared. Hopefully at this point, you guys can whip through these uh, relatively quickly, right? And we get our V equals square root of 2GH. What's our H in this problem? Nine. nine meters. So we're going from nine all the way down to zero, right? So uh, what's the answer for that again? Okay, so letter, uh, so they then they're going to ask for what's happening at point C. So this one, you could solve this a couple different ways. One way is if we keep this reference level at the bottom, then what kind of energy do we have at point C? kinetic and potential again, right? Oh, both, both at that point. However, if we change our reference level to be right here, then what kind of energy do we have right here? All kinetic, right? All kinetic at this point. So I'm going to do it that way. It's a little bit easier. Notice that the equation is exactly the same, right? Except what's the only difference? You're going to get 2gh equals v again, but what's our height this time? Six or three. If we call this our reference level, right, what's our height going to be? Three meters. So we're going to be three meters above. So this would be h of three meters. So anyway, when you do it that way, or if you did it the long way, you should get how much for our velocity? 7.6. Okay, so let's do the new part, the new thing for this unit. So we're looking for the normal force at the bottom. So let's go ahead and do our FBD at the bottom. What are the forces on a roller coaster down here at the bottom? Gravity and normal. Okay, so we have gravity, FG. We have normal force, FN. If I want to draw this to scale, what should my normal force length be? Should be greater than, equal to, or less than our FG length? greater, right? Our circle is going this way, which means we want our centripetal force, net centripetal force, to be towards the center. So our normal force has to be bigger than gravity to keep us moving in that circle. All right, so when we do our little summation here, actually I'm just going to do it on right here. So when we do our summation of F, we have the normal force going up plus, we have the FG going down minus, equals MAC. Remember, you do have to make sure that you know the direction of our centripetal A. So what direction is our A down here? Up, Up also. So it's also positive in this problem. So we, we'll just leave it positive as is. All right, so we're looking for normal force. We're going to get our normal force equals MAC, which is MV squared over R plus FG. <coughs> Okay. Notice when you're on this roller coaster, you guys have probably been on this before, how do you feel down at the bottom? Do you feel greater than or less than you normally feel? Greater. greater. So the normal force increases depending on how fast you go. The faster you go here, the greater that feeling you're going to feel, Okay, that kind of push down that you feel as you're going on that coaster. All right, so I'm not going to bother to plug in the numbers. I think you guys can do that. What's the answer then for letter B? One thirty seven? Is that confirmed to three digits? All right, what's the normal force at the top? So let's do our FPD at the top. How do things change at the top here? Do we still have gravity? Yes. yes. Do we still have normal force? Yes. yes. So we have gravity, we'll draw that FG. Uh, what do you think at the top? Is our normal force going to be uh, greater than or less than or equal to our FG here? Okay, it has to be smaller, right? Because this time our circle is going 
down, right? Our net centripetal force has to be down, which means our force of gravity has to be larger than that normal force. All right, and so when we do our summation, again, we're going to have Fn. Uh, again, we're going to have Fg. Again, we're going to have Mac. Okay, what's the difference this time? What direction is our acceleration this time? Down. Down. So it's always towards the center. So we want our centripetal force to be negative towards the center. So we want that to also be negative here. Okay, so notice our normal force is going to be Fg minus MAC, which is Fg minus MV squared over R. All right, so what's the answer for this one? Oh, you guys need to plug it in? We didn't get that far. <laughs> you guys are all getting negative numbers, huh? What might be happening? So what does that mean here? What's that negative F normal? What would that mean? It means we're flying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it means, mathematically speaking, it means the upward force is greater than the mg force. Which means if we're, if we design this roller coaster, what just happened? Jump we jumped the tracks, right. So we were going too fast. There was not yeah. enough centripetal force to keep us in the circle. So we essentially jumped the tracks at this point. We were going too fast, okay? So that leads us to question D which is essentially saying, what is that maximum velocity? How fast can we go before we jump those tracks? So how are we going to figure that out? Fn is equal to zero. Exactly. We're going to use that same equation we just derived for this, but at that maximum point when we, our, tra our car just starts to leave the tracks, what's our normal force going to be? Zero. zero. So let's do, let's do this right here. So this is letter D. Again, we'll use that same equation, which was Fn minus Fg <coughs> equals negative MAC, because the FBD is the same at that point, right? But at the maximum velocity, when it just starts to leave the tracks, the F normal would be zero. Okay, which means we're going to get our Fg equals MAC. So Mg equals MV squared over R. So V equals square root of GR. Square root of, what was our G? Well, G is always 9.8. What was our R? 3. Three. So what's that max? velocity we can take. 5.42. Okay. So let's just verify in the last problem how fast were we going? Seven. Somewhere I have it. <laughs> it's upside down. 7.67, <laughs> right? So we were going too fast at that point, right? We were, this is the max we can go. Okay. Um, by the way, does that, this look familiar to anyone, this equation? So what I'd like you to do at some point is go back to a separate roller coaster problem. Okay, compare this equation that we just derived with that minimum velocity to make the loop to loop and see what you get. So I'll leave that up to you to do that.